NHS inquiries have a number of functions, but the one I'm going to talk about now is the idea of learning lessons, as encapsulated in this idea that these things must never happen again. And in order to make sure these things never happen again, most NHS inquiries produce recommendations. Uh, these range enormously in number. For example, the recent Gosport inquiry actually produced no recommendations at all, whereas the Mid-Staffs inquiry produced 290 recommendations. It's often said there's a lot of similarity between some of the recommendations of the inquiries. For example, Private Eye has said that all Francis, who chaired the Mid-Staffs inquiry, had to do was cut and paste uh, the 198 recommendations of the Bristol inquiry, which would have only left him another 100 or so to find. So in order to affect change, recommendations need to be implementable and implemented. So what implementable means is they have to be the right or correct recommendations. They have to be feasible, have to be something that the NHS can manage to implement. But over and above that, they clearly have to be implemented. And this is arguably where some of the inquiries have fallen a bit short. The publication of the report is clearly not the end of the story. For the NHS, it's actually the beginning of the story in that the NHS has to take those paper recommendations and has to implement them. And the problem here is who is responsible for implementing these inquiries. It could be parliamentary select committees, it could be some special group to set up, but perhaps what's most important is that this implementation group actually has some buy-in from the NHS. Because what seems to have happened over the years is these recommendations are perhaps imposed on the NHS rather than working with people in the NHS to implement them. And I think most people would argue that it's always better to try to have people on the inside at least trying to work out how to best to implement the recommendations rather than simply having them imposed from somebody who may be quite remote from the service that they're trying to deal with.